Hi family, welcome back to Tara's Take Family. Today is the flip through for our scrumptious Shabby Dabby Junk Journal. So I hope you guys have been anticipating this as much as I have. Um, I really love it. I think it came out pretty good. So this is our cover with its closure. I went with the mauve and um, as you can see, I wrapped around and we did the, the cover together. Um, so you already have seen it if you got to watch that video. This is a handmade uh, rose with uh, the pink cabashon in the middle. And then we've got the flowers here. We've got, of course, our little bows, some butterflies and more flowers, just tons of lace. And then we have these beautiful trim roses, ivory colored roses here on the spine. And then this, of course, was a lace given to me by, I believe, by Vanessa out of South Africa. She is our admin, co-admin with me on our Facebook group. And this is a um, beautiful antique or vintage doily. It's got tons of laces here on, this, on the edge. And when we go inside, we have, this is the only, I believe the only piece I used out of any of my papers. Uh, and it was just because she went so well with this journal and the theme of it. This is handmade paper with <laughs> with stamping on the edge. And it's a journal card. And I just loved her for this journal. I thought she looked really sweet right here. So this is our cover um, pocket here made from the same strip that I used to decorate the cover. We talked about that. And then here is some, here's a pocket. All of this is made from Tina's papers, her journal cards. I didn't do a lot of decorating on her cards and stuff because they, as you can see, just don't need a lot of help. And then this is right here is an antique postcard. I'm not sure about the year, but I do know, I believe it's from Germany. So yeah, Germany, printed in Germany. And then this is I believe German. I'm not real sure, but that is there. And then on the inside here, uh, I did not put any, I put one of her cards here, one of her birds, the red bird cards, and then um, got it together. Lovely. This is from her papers. I tore this down and just used pieces of her paper. Here is the pockets. This one doesn't have anything in it, but it is another pocket. Okay. Some of my pockets I do choose to leave open so that you have, whoever purchases the journal has space to put things. This is some vintage lace here. This is just regular modern lace, but it looks vintage. <laughs> and then over here I have coffee dyed doily, just glued to the page for journaling on here. Here we have some strip banner made with ribbon and then a nice flat back gem pearl. And then inside we have some of, let's see, I think I have two cards in here. If I can get them to come out. I'm not really sure why they're not coming out because they're not glued or anything. There we go. Just stuck. There we go. Two more. Um... I grabbed from a bunch of Tina's kits that really went with the theme of this journal. This side has, oh, it does have a card, two cards in it, yeah. So again, uh, some stamping on one of the cards there. And then on the outside, I think, yeah, I did do another one of her journals. And like I said, these are for, from multiple kits of hers. And then we have some beautiful lace here on the edge of this page. All the paper in here is avocado dyed. Okay. And I did some stamping on different pages. I didn't do stamping on every page. Some of the papers I left blank because they're just they're just gorgeous papers and I, I thought they looked so beautiful. I didn't want to put anything on them. But then I have another banner here on one of our strips, the page edges that we made and with another one of the flat back gems. And then over here we have <clears throat> Pardon me. We have a pocket here with two small journal cards. We have a pocket up here with another journal card. And then we have some of the strips that we made that have some images and things that were Tina's. Another banner with another flat back. And then we have some bling here with the, the hot pink and then the diamante. 
on there. Okay, oh, and this is one of our little, uh, we did this, it was one of our little, sni um, not snippet, clusters that we did, fabric clusters. And then over here we have a chiffon ruffle, and then I have a little bow here made with my crinkled seam binding. And then here we have a, uh, these are little pockets, okay? So these are each a pocket. I left them empty, but they're just adorable. They didn't need much. I just did a few little things on them, as you can see. Okay, and the little journaling space here. So each one of those, this is a waterfall pocket. And underneath, I have two of her journal cards. Okay. So this is glued in as a belly band. All right. And it says forgiven, praise God. All right, and then some more avocado dyed paper for journaling. And another fun little cluster. We did these little guys um, a few, gosh, a few months ago together. And then another journaling card. Um, and just decorated to the hilt with fun little things. This cluster here was a, a strip from one of my um, strips I made with you guys. And it's got some sewing around it. And it has a few pieces out of things from Tina. That's why I went ahead and used it. More Diamante here, and then we have another one of her cards with one of our little tabs we made the other day, and I had used Tina's bow on there, so I put that in here. And another journaling card. Okay. And then on the back, I have some pink rose trim, and some more of the same, that this tab was made from the same lace. Journaling space, more journaling spaces. I haven't counted the pages. But it's got tons of journaling space in it. And then we have a beautiful tag with one of these really, I have had these forever, my tassels, and it went, so I used it. Um, little stamping on the back. Another one of her cards for journaling. This pocket came out of her kit, her Redbird kit. More of that antique vintage lace. Here is, I think this was like the first piece we made for this journal. This was the envelope. So on the inside here, I have one of these beautiful, we did this um, a few months ago, <clears throat> maybe six months ago or something, where we took book page and we decoupaged on it with napkins. And then I used vellum on the front and some of my uh, crinkle seam binding. And this picture is from one of that I printed on vellum. It's Tina's adverts, and I can't remember which kit it is. It's like she's got several of them now, but that is just for fun and beauty. It's just a pretty element that I put in there. This, of course, was done with Tina in mind. We've got our wax seal and the beautiful bow that she always does. And uh, just tuck this back in. And then over here, <clears throat> pardon me, I have a frog in my throat. <laughs> we have two more cards. <clears throat> and this opens up, and you have writing space. Okay. And it slips right back in there. And then this is just a little pocket made out of some of her paper. And then I used some of the um, ladies I had gotten from her eons ago. Eons and eons ago, I don't even know what that kit is called at all. These are more cards from another kit. There's probably about, I don't know, probably five or six kits that I used for this journal. Um, a lot. And I have probably over a hundred of Tina's kits. Okay, so this is one of my favorite pages. And this, I didn't have the heart to cover this door. I figure whoever owns it can just write on there or they can glue pictures on there or whatever. But this lace was so gorgeous. I believe Vanessa sent this to me. And I went ahead and do you remember this from the other day? I glued it onto this page with this beautiful lace and these flowers just matched so pretty. This is just a tip in that you can journal underneath. Okay. And then cover up your journaling. This is all sewn and a bunch more journaling pages. Okay. And then here we have a policy envelope, which is one of my favorites from Tina that she does. 
um, a little tag from her that I just put some ribbon on. Another one of the little antique pictures. I kind of, when this one was wet, I kind of bent it a little bit so it looks like it's really been through some, the ringer a little bit. Another card. And then on the inside, let me pull this. I want this to show. Let's do it like this. There we go. Okay. And then on the inside, I can't remember what I put, so let's take a peek. Pretty sure I put something. Yep. I thought so. Oh, okay. Two more of her journaling cards. Okay. And this one, check it out. Matches. <laughs> matches the envelope. I love it. I love it. And there's a little thumb notch here so you can pull the cards out. Okay. And here we have more crinkle seam binding and some sari silk. I had a little bit of this mauve pink. I'm not mauve, but um, like maroon colored pinkish look. And so I thought, wow, it just sets it off. And then we have some of that lace that I love that I was using on the cover the other day. More lace over here, and then this page. Oh, I like this page. This I did a ruffle with just this used to be a, a silky scarf I bought, and I have no idea I bought it used at like a thrift store, but it was so pretty, and I tore it down. And this journal's the first place I've ever used it. So I put some of those flowers that we had cut from this. The two ends, I cut them out and used them to decorate a couple of the pages. This is a banner from Tina, and this is some of the paper that we alcohol inked about, or I mean, vintage book page that we alcohol inked about a year ago. Stamped piece of just cardstock cut out with decorative, and then we I went ahead and added some of this. Actually, I think this was here on this pocket, and then that's what caused me to do this. And I thought that looks. That looks right. And then this is, of course, just lace off of a dress that I had from Dottie's Deals. You guys know that name. I say Dottie's Deals a lot. And then more journaling space over here. And then on this side, we have one of those bookmarks that we made the other day and some more floral trim. And then I used some little little uh, tissue bags. Um, what are they called? Uh, well, I'll be honest, these are actually little bags. I'll show them to you, I have a few here. These are little bags I get at um, <laughs> In-N-Out Burger, and it's the ones that you put your peppers in, okay? And then I coffee dye them and stamped them, and this is a little pocket made out of those, okay? And it's a pocket for my bookmark. And then over here we have another waterfall pocket set. I've not put anything in these pockets. Again, um, with some lace, more lace on the edge, but these are four pockets, so just flip up, okay? And then down here we have a side pocket and we have journaling space. So that is that, and I think it's adorable. So I put the word charming, because <laughs> I like that. I love that page. Anyway, this page has nothing because look at that picture. I just couldn't cover it, so. I kept going and putting stuff on it, and I was like, nope. So we got more journaling space, tons of journaling space, stamping on the edge. Here we have some more, um, we have some more journaling cards, little tiny ones on our, our uh, torn scrap cluster, or uh, tux, tuck spots, and then just did some lace on this little tab, and I took a piece of the paper, I cut two pieces, glued them together so they have a front and a back, off the same page of the kit, one of the kits, and then I just glued it on as a tab. Okay, I kind of liked that. I thought it was cute. We have another journal card here, two of those smaller ones we've seen already. Okay, and then some of Tina's butterflies and her French phrases and stuff. Over here, we have another one of those little bags. Makes a fun sound. And then we have another tag with some lace as a tab and more of that flower. That's the last piece I had. A little cluster that we made together eons ago. And this part just speaks for itself. The paper's gorgeous, don't wanna cover it. Here we have a little collage and a handmade bow from a very old lace that I have that I think is now gone. I've used it all. And then this one, of course, refresh your memory. It opens up and you can see the picture there and then you can 
collage, um, collage. You can journal on all of that paper. Okay. And this just tucks right back under this little flap. Don't make a liar of me. It really does tuck right back under if you get it at the right angle. <laughs> oh, there we go. And then here we have a pocket. I glued it in as a pocket. And here's another little journal card. And one of our page edgers. And I put the little bow at the end. There's another bunch of journaling paper. Here we have um, some of her paper. I used to do a stamping. This is just some of the beautiful paper. And it just... Ugh, so pretty. I just put this kind of as a picturesque, you know, spot. And then you turn, you know, you've got your little hinge here. And I just, all I did was take a piece of paper and that was it. And I just hinged it, glued it in, put a little bit of trim on it, some gold across it, a little bit if you can see the gold on the paper. And then this beautiful lady and the flowers are the same. So I just did the same thing on the other page. More journaling space. And here we go. We have Another pocket. This is one of our double pockets that we did the other day. And this has a, this has some journaling card here, journaling card, more journaling card. We have, um, it's got a little bit of glue right here. Let me get that on this here. There we go. And more edging of that same lace that I had over here. And then on the back, we have the other side. It's got, I love the way this one turned out. I think it looks so gorgeous. Scrumptious, scrumptious. Here's a little envelope. It is empty because I left it for them. This is a double pocket. I put her in the first pocket so you could see her, but there is a pocket glued in behind. It's glued in as a pocket. Another page that I just folded over and made a hinge where they could journal. And it says, the air is full of sunlight. The flowers appear on the earth. I thought that looked, I thought that was nice. Um, and here, oh, I need to distress these. I didn't realize I didn't distress them, so I will be doing that. Um, I have one of our little handmade flowers that we did out of fabric with a dangle here. Some more of that vintage lace and then some more uh, ruffle made, homemade. And then this is some more vintage lace over here. And I had pieces of it, so I glued it in. You can't really tell, but I thought it looked nice on top of that ribbon. Another pocket right here that is empty for them to fill. Here we go. This one's a pretty one. She's she's not so pretty, but she's okay. <laughs> anyway, poor lady. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so here's a journal card. And this is one of the ones that we painted. It does still have a little bit of air underneath. Not bad, though. And then all of this just matched so well that I went ahead and put this up here. This was one of the clusters we made. I don't even remember when. It's been so long, but it matches the ribbon the ribbon here and just kind of made that page stand out with this beautiful charm which just got some rhinestones in it and yeah journey of a lifetime so I think that one's very nice and then over here we have more of our paper more coffee dyed doily and more paper I, I have a lot of journaling space in this journal and it's only a two signature journal it is um, let's grab a ruler and I'll tell you it's like, it's quite big actually. It is eight and a half, yeah, eight and a half inches wide and then it's uh, nine inches tall and on its thickest point, it's four inches. Oh, well, when it really flares open, it's like six inches. It's quite the gator, okay, when it's really open. It's a big one. And it's only two signatures, so it's kind of funny. So here I have some of that fun fur that we did and I did another kibosh in here. This is another one of our page edgers we did the other day together and I did have this decorated a little bit different. I took what was on here off because the butterfly it was a paper butterfly from Tina and it was getting bent because it when it would be open it would bend it. So I went ahead and took the butterfly off, put a new butterfly here, walk in love and then I put a little flat back gem and then of course the flat back kibosh in there so it's just very blingy on this page. And you open this up and you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got six different journal cards. Okay, small ones, two large ones, and four smaller ones. Okay, in this pocket too. Let's see, can I get it so you can see the whole thing? So we've got this pocket. It has a large one and then two. And then you have over here the large one and two. Okay, and this, there's the beautiful ladies again. 
Let me just tuck that down. I think it's the only place in there I used black lace, but I just thought it looked really pretty against the black in the, in the paper. Okay, so over here we have, we've got lots of flower trim. I went ahead and went for it. I did not hoard. <laughs> um, we have in here, we have a card with a pocket. Okay, we have a journal card with a pocket and another journal card inside. A little stamping on the back. Very cute. And then here, it just slips in. This is an envelope flap pocket. Okay, this is Tina's paper. And it says journal right here. I don't know. Can you see that? This is journal right here. So they can journal all on here. And then they have this beautiful cover and the lovely lady in the corner um, with her nesting, which I thought went really well with the burgundy and the birds and the burgundy on there. It just all kind of flowed. And more pink trim. And then here we go. More cards here in the back. And then this opens up. And it's got some Velcro on it and then this one's empty so it can be filled okay and then we have beautiful and more of that flower trim and then here we have a little bookmark um, I used one of Tina's and I just covered some cardstock and turned it into another bookmark and it's got a dangly little as you can see with a beautiful cross which is turned the wrong way there we go with some pretty bling there on the beads and that just goes over the edge of the page just want to make sure I'm not there we go and then of course we have some more of that gorgeous lace I didn't think so I thought that wasn't going on right there we go more journaling paper here we have another tuck with a cute little card journaling card these cards didn't need much some of like I said most of them I did not decorate because they were just so pretty on their own. This one is just one of our little uh, little clusters we did and it had some of Tina's stuff on it so I went ahead and glued that in here. More lace and trim and then in this last pocket we have some more cards. Just beautiful, beautiful cards from Tina's papers. And then this little tag, just a little trim of gold matches all throughout with some sari silk crinkle seam binding more of Tina's butterflies and her paper and then in here we have our back pocket as you can see I did this one horizontally and we have some we have one of Tina's journal cards and then we have two uh, two of the German cards that are from let's see this one's from 1920 December 18th, 1920. And this one, I don't have a date on here, but it is from Anna. And it is in German or another language that I can't read, but look at the beauty of that card. So preserved. So that is going, these are both over 100 years old. I have three, three postcards in this journal that are over 100 years old. So I think that's pretty good on the antiques. So that is, and then there's our back again, and that is the Scrumptious Shabby Dabby Junk Journal. And I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. I loved doing this journal, especially because I knew it was dedicated to my favorite YouTube crafter, Ms. Tina Roswell. We love you. And we love Shabby Dabby Doodah. Most of us know of Shabby Dabby Doodah if you don't. Please, please use the link in this video and go over and show our girl some love. Tell her that I said hi. And, <laughs> and I love you guys. Thank you for coming along with me on this walk through or this flip through. And I will see you in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.